Take a look at these lights. They all look very similar and have almost exactly the same color. But what if I told you that two out of these three lights are so different in color that they aren't even comparable? There is a way to make this color difference visible to our trichromatic eyes, unraveling these otherwise seemingly identical colors, making them easily distinguishable by color. Hi, my name is Ukoi, and in the following we will learn how to split our three types of color cones into six in order to effectively see six instead of just three primary colors. While still technically not being able to see any new primary colors, this technique allows for a tremendous increase in color discrimination by implementing otherwise impossible color combinations into our color vision. The difference in perceived colors is so great in fact that two whitish lights, which look identical under normal conditions, will look completely different once you wear the amazing special glasses that I am about to show you. The typical human eye is able to detect three types of colors with the help of three types of color receptors within the visible spectrum – blue, green and red. Any combination thereof leads to a unique color experience. However, this does not mean that other colors do not exist. We are simply unable to perceive them because they either lie outside this visible spectrum and therefore outside the range of our color receptors or are so close to each other that they seem indistinguishable in hue and could only ever be differentiated if we would possess at least a fourth type of color receptor. No imaginary color that you've never seen before. Not any normal color within the visible spectrum, but an entirely new color. You probably can't, but still try to imagine such a color as a living thing out of space. That is the plot of one of H.B. Lovecraft's short stories named The Color Out of Space, published in 1927. It tells the horrifying story of a meteor coming from outer space that crashes down to Earth, infesting a small town with a seemingly sentient and equally alien and never before seen color that causes devastation to the environment as well as a local family. While the story itself is really interesting to read, what fascinated me the most when I first read it was the idea of a color that I've never seen before. A color which is so outside of my normal understanding of colors that actually seeing it would leave me standing there and just looking at it in utter awe and amazement. Luckily, you and I don't have to imagine such a mystical color because we can instead just see it for ourselves. I'm happy to tell you that I've already seen such a mystical color. In fact, not just one and not just once, but a lot of such impossible colors and that every day. And you can see them too. However, these new colors are unfortunately no new primary colors, but rather impossible color combinations like a magenta green, which is not white, a red green, which is not yellow, and a black orange, and a lot more. I'm currently working on making humans more than trichromats with the help of visual technology. Fortunately, there are glasses, this is Infinitex Triple Band Pass Interference Glasses, short TBP glasses that I intentionally and strategically misuse. They are technically meant for a special type of 3D technology and display, but also work great for seeing new impossible colors. They split the three color receptors for blue, green and red in our eyes into two, creating two types of each primary color, respectively giving each of our two eyes the perception of a unique white. This is achieved by the combination of multiple, in this case three, narrow bandpass filters in a single lens that are perfectly offset to the filters of the other lens so that they don't overlap and together create a continuous spectrum. If we take the green receptor for example, the TBP classes bit its sensitivity into two segments. The left eye now only receives a green where all the green receptors that are more sensitive to reddish light are cut off. And the right eye now only receives a green where all the green receptors that are sensitive to more bluish light are cut off. In effect, it makes two receptors out of one. 
and because a lesser sensitivity of a cone type results not just in a perceived luminosity change, but also in a perceived color change. Because the surrounding colors shift closer to the color space of the diminished color, you implement impossible color combinations into your vision. This happens to all three color receptor types and enables us to make out color differences we could have never imagined being able to differentiate before. These new six types of color receptors now enable us to perceive slight or strong differences in color depending on the quality and makeup of the light source. This is called wavelength multiplexing or interference filter technology. Instead of only being able to single out and cut out one specific broad range of colors, as it is the case for colored glasses for example, each lens of the TBP glasses specifically singles out three different narrow wavelength ranges, which correspond to three different color ranges per eye. This more narrow segmentation of multiple wavelength ranges per eye is effectively the next generation of passively color altering glasses. Once you put on the TVP glasses, color becomes a lot more nuanced. Two normally identical colors will be perceived as completely different, depending on the spectral quality and makeup. For example, these whitish lights look almost identical. However, if we look through the TPP glasses, it quickly becomes apparent which of these lights have a different color quality and makeup. Some of them change the colors more drastically, if you put the interference glasses in front of the camera. And in this case, the TPP glasses split some colors into a magenta left channel and a greenish right channel. The other light does not significantly change in color, even though it looked the same. Now, look at the yellowish lights of this building. The special glasses divide this yellowish light into a more reddish and a more greenish color, so that we are able to see a true mixture of red and green, which is not a normal yellow. There are also yellowish lights, which do not change their color so drastically, because they have a different color quality and makeup. Next is the whitish light of these street lights. Using the same procedure, this whitish light now becomes a true mixture of magenta and green. So, by implementing impossible color combinations into our color perception, the TBP glasses allow for a huge increase of otherwise indistinguishable, but no perceivable colors. And remember that we don't see these newly created color differences as separate, but rather simultaneously and overlapping each other. We therefore perceive a single unique, impossible color experience. Be aware, however, that a mobile phone camera can't capture the colors as you and I really see them. The recordings are just an approximation. The increase in color discriminability becomes apparent if you compare a recording of such a color on a normal screen which uses standard blue, green and red pixels to create a white to the actual color in real life. With the TBP glasses put on, such a normal screener can never recreate the color experience of real life, because it would need at least six differently colored pixels corresponding to the now six different types of color receptors in our two eyes. Respectively, one pixel for blue 1 and blue 2, green 1 and green 2, and red 1 and red 2. These special glasses still alter the colors of the screen to a considerable and beautiful amount. They especially make green and red of our screens even more green and red. They hugely increase the contrast of every color and they thereby make everything look sharper. But this alteration is nothing compared to a real life light setting. In comparison to the magenta yellow lens glasses that I talked about in my previous video, the TBP glasses let us make a lot more precise color distinctions and therefore enable us to see a tremendous increase in impossible color combinations, which is most noticeable when it comes to light sources. Basically, if we look at this almost monochromatic orange light through both the TBP lenses, one lens just alters the color slightly and the other darkens it almost completely. This could never happen if we look at a recording of this orange light on a normal screen.
This is because the orange of the screen is converted into a mixture of red and green that tricks our brain into seeing a very similar orange. Under normal conditions, these two colors look almost identical, but with the help of the comparison of the TBP classes, the actual difference becomes apparent. The newly created colors are impossible color combinations of normal colors, and no new primary colors are created. However, because these impossible color combinations are normally imperceptible, there is an increase in perceivable colors if we train our brain to be able to combine the overlapping colors perfectly. After achieving that, we can technically call ourselves hexachromats, with only the added off taste of not seeing any new primary colors, but rather new impossible color combinations, which is in and of itself at least equally amazing. Be aware, however, that this is still just simulated hexachromacy. While you will be able to perceive a lot of new colors, not every color changes in a way that is immediately noticeable. While there are lights which split up into two very distinct colors that are immediately noticeable as a new impossible color, like some white splitting up into magenta and green, there are also colors which do have such minor color changes that they are barely noticeable, like an orange light splitting up into an orange and a yellow. With the real hexachromacy, such colors would also be completely new. To our eyes with merely simulated hexachromacy, however not. This means that you have to search to find the most suitable lights in order to see these new combinatory colors. The curious viewers out of you may have noticed that we are still moving within the limits of the visible spectrum, but we haven't ventured anywhere beyond it. That is to say that the TBP classes do not expand the visible color spectrum, they rather give it a lot more color details and make it possible to better particularize and distinguish between otherwise similar looking colors. This means that I'm working on increasing the perceivable color differences within the already visible color spectrum by implementing impossible color combinations into it. This is a subtle but important difference. But with this research at hand, it is a lot easier to then implement colors outside of the visible color spectrum into our normal color vision. It will only be a matter of hardware at that point. Furthermore, light has so many more properties, like polarization which leads to birefringence and so on, so that I can confidently say that my research is only at the beginning, yet already yields so much. In the future, I plan on researching on how to bestow an extra fourth cone type on humans. By doing this, we may be able to become functional tetrachromats. While this is still somewhat of a distant dream, the present as well as the future is still deeply interesting and worthwhile. I generally don't leave my home anymore without putting on the TBP glasses. They might look a bit weird, even if you mount the lenses onto other glasses, but being able to see all these new amazing colors is definitely worth enduring the puzzled and perplexed gazes of some passerby. My world now is so much more colorful that I can confidently say that I almost fully achieved my dream of seeing new colors. But you know how humans are. We always want more. There is still room for improvement by adding more than three narrow bandpass filters into a single lens. And there is a whole nother world of active glasses like XR mixed reality glasses that allow for an ineffable amount of more impossible color combinations. While I'll definitely talk about that too, the topic of one of my next videos will be on how we can render birefringence visible and how to see polarized light and perceive it as dichromatic instead of just monochromatic. So stay tuned and subscribe in order to fetch new ways to experience life. I'm Ukwai and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Thanks for watching.